let's talk about the romantic poets the first generation poets includes wordsworth coleridge saude and william blake they are more philosophical in their works the second generation poets includes byron sally keats they are highly subjective and more remote romantic in their works the most important writer william wordsworth from 1770 to 1850 born in 1770 in cokermouth cumberland england he came in contact with nature when his uncle ridgley calvert left him a legacy of 900 pounds and by using that money with his sister dorothy wordsworth he went on the tour of highland there in 1795 he came in contact with st coleridge in somerset and they formed a lifelong friendship coleridge wordsworth and saude came to be known as lake poets wordsworth succeeded robert saude who was a poet laureate from 1774 to 1843 as england's poet laureate in 1843 wordsworth wanted coleridge to get married to dorothy and this was the reason they got separated moreover it is believed that coleridge's opinion and wordsworth's opinion on lyrical ballads were totally different so they separated wordsworth wrote 500 plus 580 plus sonnets some of his important works are descriptive sketches written in 1793 and evening walk written in 1793 lyrical ballads written in 1798 it is written in collaboration with coleridge collection of 23 poems 19 by wordsworth 4 by coleridge published in 1798 the first poem in the collection was the rhyme of the ancient mariner and the last poem in the collection was tintern abbey when this work got completed the critics started attacking this work saying that this has violated the neoclassical structure and the book has no writing standard wordsworth wrote a preface in its second edition to justify his writing standard it is known as the preface to lyrical ballads and it was published in 1800 it is regarded as romantic manifesto wordsworth justified by saying four points ordinary ordinary life is the best subject for poetry wordsworth uses common man's language everyday language is the best suited for poetry expression of feeling is the more important then action or plot he describes poet as a man speaking to men poetry is a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings that takes its origin from the emotion recollected in tranquility one of the most important poem of this collection is lines composed a few miles above tintern abbey second second poetry collection is the poems in two volumes written uh, published in 1807 it is a poetry collection the important poems of this collection are resolution and independence it describes wordsworth encounter with a leech gatherer according to thomas hardy this poem is the best cure for despair the most important poem of this collection is daffodils or i wandered lonely as a cloud He talks about the long belt of daffodils that he encountered while going along with his sister Dorothy on April fifteenth, eighteen zero two. Important line of this poem is: "I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high over vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. My heart leaps up, or the rainbow." in this poem it is a famous work where it talks about a child looking at the rainbow for the first time it describes joy felt at viewing a rainbow important lines my heart leaps up when i behold a rainbow in the sky line so was it when my life began so 
Is it now I am a man? So be it when I shall grow old or let me die. Line Child is a father of the man. The next important poem is Ode. Intimations of Immortality or Immortality Ode. This poem was completed in two parts. When Wordsworth provided the copy of the first part of the poem to Coleridge, he responded with his own poem, Dejection and Ode. Ode to Duty Next important poem is The Solitary Reaper. The poem functions to be praised the beauty of music. It is a story of a traveler. He is passing by and hears a girl singing. He looks at the girl. She is alone singing and reaping together in the farm, farm field. She is a highland girl. He compares the girl singing to that of nightingale and cuckoo bird. Wordsworth says that her music is totally new to me, but it's very beautiful. Her language is very tough and it's very new to me, so I cannot understand the language, but I am sure that whether she is singing is something sad, maybe about the past or future. Then he says that I kept on walking because he decided whether with he should stay there or he should keep walking. Then he starts walking and says, that even after crossing the valley, I poured that music in my heart. The important line, Behold her, single in the field, yon solitary highland, lass, weeping and singing by herself. The next poem is composed upon Westminster Breeze, September 3rd, 1802. It describes London and River Thames viewed from the Westminster Breeze in the early morning. Next poem, London 1802. The poem has two main purposes. First, to pay homage to Milton by saying that he can save the people of England with his nobility and virtue. Second, to draw attention to what Wordsworth feel as the problem with English society. The next poem is, The world is too much with us. In this poem, he has used pantheism philosophy. He says, that we are involved in our materialistic life and have completed forgotten the love of nature. We have forgotten to thank God. So I wanted to be a pagan, someone who finds God presence in nature. He says that I will leave this world, I will go to the oceans and I will find Triton and Proteus. Lines, some of the important lines. We have given our hearts away, a sordid boon. This sea that bears her bosom to the moon. Next line. For this, for everything, we are out of tune. The most, the important poem of this collection is It is a beautiful evening, calm and free. A sonnet written at Calais in 1802 but published in this collection. It describes an evening walk on the beach with his nine-year-old daughter, Caroline Vallon. Next poem, French Revolution, written in 1810. It talks about French Revolution. Important line. Bliss was it in that dawn to be alive, but to be young was very heaven. Next work, The Excursion, written in 1814. It was intended to be the second part of the recluse, an unfinished larger work. Excursion consists nine philosophical monologues spoken by pastoral characters which was divided into nine books. The recluse is a poem in three parts, though Wordsworth was able to complete only the second part which is named Excursion, the first and third part left uncomplete. He wanted to write a work which was greater than Paradise Lost. Prelude was said to be the prologue of Recluse. Next work, The Prelude or The Growth of Poet's Mind, written in 1850. It is an autobiographical poem having 14 books. Written 
it began as early as 1799 and finished in its first version in 1805 but was not published until 1850. Prelude in 12 books published by Mary Hutchinson after his death. This poem is also known as Poems to Coleridge. Prelude Book 9 and Book 10 are fully influenced by French Revolution. Book 11 and Book 12 talked about the frustration after French Revolution. Wordsworth recorded his development as a poet. Wordsworth celebrated the sublime natural scenery in developing his spiritual, moral and imaginative nature. It was intended as an introduction to a more philosophical work, Recluse. Wordsworth talks about his learnings from nature. He says that nature has molded and developed his character. It is nature that has made him a saint and he keeps thinking of nature for these things. He says that once he was throwing pebbles at the bird, then suddenly a thunderstorm appeared and he thought that God was scolding him. That's how he got his first learning. He stole a boat and he was rowing. So the setting sun created a shadow and the shadow started chasing him when he was in the pond sailing with the stolen boat. He felt that the shadow was trying to catch him and he realized that the, he did something wrong. He sees a beautiful flower and a wasp roaming around it. But out of curiosity, he plucks the flower and throws it away. The wasp started making a humming sound which made him realize that he had destroyed the house of the wasp. Both the role of the teacher and mother has been played by the nature. Over Wordsworth. Thank you.